Hey guys, and welcome back to My English Brain. Today, we're talking about invitations. Alright, let's get started. Do you remember Jason and Maya? Jason is texting Maya because he wants to make plans to see her again. He's making an invitation. Let's listen to their conversation. Hey, Maya. How's it going? Oh, hey, Jason. Pretty good. And you? I'm good. So, what are you doing? I'm just at the mall with my friends. What about you? I'm getting some coffee before class. Hey, what are you doing tonight? Um, not much. Why? Would you like to get something to eat later? Oh, I'd love to, but I have to study for a test tomorrow. Oh, okay. What about tomorrow night? Do you want to do something? I'd like to, but I need to do some volunteer work at the hospital. Oh, I didn't know you did volunteer work. Yeah, I have to do it to finish my degree. Okay, well, if you want to get together sometime soon, let me know. Do you want to come with me to the hospital? We always need extra help. Maybe after we can get something to eat? Um, yeah, okay. That sounds good. What time? Meet me in front of the hospital at 6 o'clock. Alright, great. I'll see you then. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye. Okay, now it's time for our grammar. But let's look at this sentence. Things I like to do. From the picture, we can say, I like to eat at restaurants. Now, let's focus on this part. I like to eat at restaurants. Now, in English, when we have two verbs, for example, like and eat, we cannot put the verbs together. We need to separate the verbs and we need to put something between them. So we put to. I like to eat. And when we use to and a verb, we call this the infinitive. The infinitive form of the verb. So when we have two verbs, the second verb often is in the infinitive, to and the verb. And we often use the infinitive with verbs like these. For example, I like to eat, I want to eat, I need to eat, and I have to eat. These verbs like want, need, and have are always followed with the infinitive. Now, the verb I need to eat and I have to eat are obligations. They're very strong needs. I need to eat is an obligation and I have to eat is also an obligation. Now, these verbs with the infinitive are very common and they're common in our grammar today and today's grammar is invitations for example this invitation would you like to go to a movie notice we use the infinitive would you like to go to a movie now with this invitation we are using the word would and would 
and the verb is our form of using a hypothetical. It's often used for invitations. So remember, would and a verb is the hypothetical in English and we often use it for invitations. Would you like to go to a movie? We have another way to ask and we can use do. Do you want to go to a movie? Again, using the infinitive. So, two ways to make the invitation. The first way with would and like and the infinitive. Would you like to go to a movie? Or with do and want. Do you want to go to a movie? Now, in the response, the person can say, sure, I'd love to go to a movie. Again, with the infinitive, I'd love to go to a movie. Now, I'd is the contraction of I and would. I'd, sure, I'd love to go to a movie. Or the person can use, yeah, I'd like to go to a movie. Now, when we say yes to the invitation, it is not necessary to repeat the entire invitation. So, we usually just say the short version and we say, sure, I'd love to, or yeah, I'd like to, but it's very important to use the to. Now, when we want to say no to an invitation, to be polite, we use the short form to accept, and then we use the word but to show that we have an obligation and we cannot go with the person. So we say, sure, I'd love to, but I have, or I need, and the infinitive to show the obligation. So. Sure, I'd love to, but I have to work. The obligation. I have to work. Or maybe, yeah, I'd like to, but I need to study. Again, the obligation to study. So to review, when we ask someone an invitation, we have two ways. We use would and like or we use do and want. We always are using the infinitives. For example, would you like to go to a movie? Or do you want to go to a movie? To say yes, we use the short version and the contraction of I would. I'd. Sure. I'd love to. Remember, the to is very important. Or yeah, I'd like to. But, when we say no, we use the short version to accept, to be nice, to be polite, the word but, and then the obligation, using I have to and I need to, to show that we have an obligation. Okay, let's take a moment for pronunciation. With the infinitive, to, and go. The infinitive always uses to, but sometimes we do not say to. We change the sound and we say ta. Ta. We take the ta sound and we put it on the previous verb. So for this one, we say like ta. Like ta. Repeat the sentence. I like to go to the movies. I like to go to the movies. Let's look at another verb. For example, need to. We change the sound and we say need to. Need to. Repeat. I need to study for the test. I need to study for the test. Very good. Let's look at the next one want to. We change the sound and we say wanna. Wanna. I wanna eat Italian food. 
I want to eat Italian food. Very good. Let's look at the next one. I have to. We change the to sound and we say have to. Have to. I have to work tonight. I have to work tonight. Very good. Now we know that when we use have to, one way to change the pronunciation is saying have to. I have to work tonight. But an also very common way to say have to is gotta. We change the sound completely and we say gotta. I gotta work tonight. I gotta work tonight. So remember, when we use have to for obligation, we can say have to or gotta. Very good. Now it's time to practice. To practice, use the verbs in parentheses in the correct form. For example, Do you want to get lunch tomorrow? Repeat. Do you want to get lunch tomorrow? I'd like to but I have to work. Repeat. I'd like to, but I have to work. Would you like to go to a concert next week? Repeat. Would you like to go to a concert next week? Sure, I'd love to. What time is the concert? Do you want to see a movie tonight? Repeat. Do you want to see a movie tonight? I'd like to, but I can't. I need to help my parents tonight. Repeat. I'd like to, but I can't. I need to help my parents tonight. Last one. Would you like to get some coffee this weekend? Repeat. Would you like to get some coffee this weekend? Sure. I'd love to. Where do you want to go? Repeat. Sure. I'd love to. Where do you want to go? Alright, good job guys. Alright guys, that's the end of the lesson. Thanks for coming to My English Brain. Remember, if you liked the lesson, share it with friends, family, and classmates. For more videos, subscribe to the channel. For more practice, go to the website, myenglishbrain.com. And don't forget, the next video, the pronunciation of T. It is in my water bottle. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and good luck.